It's working. Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. Welcome. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Dungeons and Dragon. Kids, Kids and Dragon. Dragon. Kids and Dragon. Yeah, that was its quote, right? I thought it was Rangers and Dragons. Actually, Kids and, uh, Kids and Rangers and Dragons. Never mind, just skip that. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to episode three of. KND, aka Kids and Dragon, aka Rangers and Dragon. So we are back with episode three. It is August third. Yeah. I oh, think no. maybe. Oh no, it's the second. Woo! Yeah. August second, and we're continuing our series of Kids and Dragons, yeah. um, aka Rangers and Dragons. Previously on Kids and Dragons, Rangers and Dragons. Uh, you guys just defeated General Havoc. Um, you guys really took him out. I believe Amaya rolled a 20, which in D&D standards... Which in D&D standards is a critical strike, so she did like a super mega fireball breath. Um, and from destroying him, it ignited the fireworks. The fireworks hit the rest of his putty companions, and kaboom! But you guys couldn't morph. Um, because he put down a force field so that you guys had to use the power within which were your regular characters from when we were just doing regular Dungeons and Dragons uh, and we decided to call them your ultimate forms because without that form you guys are right now in your champion form so no need to go down to rookie form um, so yeah we're just going to pick up with the story left off anybody have any questions or any concerns anything you want to say to the camera yeah. what's up so, we defeated General Havoc yeah. when there was a firework party mm -hmm. happening. It was a 4th of July firework party. It, yep. was, it was Snowball's birthday. It was Snowball's birthday and we made one of his friends. Then Sparks decided to shoot the fireworks. Then we saw a ship. Then it lowered down some putties mm -hmm. and the most bosses. General Havoc until Sparks and Ultimate Prime Dra Dungeons and Dragon evolved into their ultimate form. Dungeons and Dragon evolved to their ultimate form, which are their golden forms hanging up at the top right there. Yes. Um, and we will show that to the camera on another date and time. Um, unless it might, might, you want to go get the golden ones just in case you might need them or you're, you're, you think you're fine. Um, She's fine. Okay, so we're gonna pick up, huh? I can say something. Oh, okay. Amaya would like to say something. Ba, 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 ba. Breaking news! Today it was an awful day. Camp was canceled for me. Gymnastics was canceled for me. So almost everything was canceled to me because the one and only bad mosquito bit me, and a mosquito bite. Because number one, I already had the bug bite. But when the mosquito bit that bug bite, they grow bigger. And bigger. And bigger. And bigger! Into a shell spider bug bite. It was a shell spider. It was big as a shell spider. It was this big. No one can ever believe it, but you have to. No, I, I think I think we all believe it. I think we all understand you have a mosquito bite. Uh, Should I show it to them? No. No, no. Uh, <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, everyone no, believes you. All right. Is everyone ready to pick up from where we left off? Yes. Yes. No! Okay. Let's do this. So uh, we're back at the, the beach party, back with the big festival tent. You guys just exploded all of the fireworks. And, and Ninjor... Um, He's actually coming to talk to you guys. Captain Snowball is, is thanking you guys. He's like, oh my goodness, that was that was probably the best fighting I have ever seen. Sparks, when you lit that fireball and that bad boy like went to that, the, the fireworks, boom, pow! It was amazing. Like, you won't, nobody's gonna believe me when I tell them that the, the fire came from you. That was, that was pretty cool. And you, Optimus Prime, well, well quite frankly, you, you just held it down. You, you took a lot of hits. You, you didn't get hurt though, but you really, you want you would like what we call a a tank, yeah, a tank to take a lot of damage before it before it goes down. So I'm really proud of you for taking all those hits, and uh, the, the strategy behind the two of you 
you know, one of you guys using your magic, that was cool. One of you guys using your, your fists, that was just, just amazing. We have a special weapon called Dungeons and Dragons Ball. Oh, oh yeah. No, you know what? We don't have Dungeons and Dragons Evolved here in, in Angel Grove. We, we just, we just use Power Rangers. Hold right? it. Did you say Angel Grove? Yeah, yeah. You, you, you didn't realize, it. you didn't realize it lives in Angel Grove? So Angel Grove is your town yep. where you live. Yep, yep, we're actually we're on, the, we're on the outskirts. I don't know if you know what that means or not, but we're on the, the outskirts. What? Oh. So this is where you live, right? Yeah, yeah. And yeah. this is where you launch the fireworks. Is this, is this some type of interrogation? Why are you wait, questioning me? Wait, did you just slide you or you was born here? No, well, nah. I, I wasn't really born here. I kind of just hopped to this location. I figured this was the best place for a Captain Snowball, for a superhero like myself, to defend all the pets and people. Is, is, that, is that all clear? I'm, I'm not the bad guy here. You guys know this, right? Jordan, are you sure today? What? I was doing, I was pretending I was eating bread. Oh, you was eating, oh, yep, your mouth was full. I, yeah. That's why I couldn't understand your mind. You really shouldn't talk with your mouth full. It's really hard to understand you, but that's okay. That's all right. Um, in the meantime, I guess Ninja got some things he want to say to you guys. We're going we gonna to go back and party. Uh, great job. Get some bread. Eat all the bread you want. And uh, really get your energy back. <laughs> so Ninja, <laughs> Ninja comes out the tent. He's talking to you guys. And he's like, Rangers, that was, that was really amazing. Um. First, I just I just want to apologize that I never showed you guys to use the power within. Uh, when I was telling you to use your powers, I was actually telling you to morph. What's it? Huh? Wait, morph? Yeah, you you guys didn't morph. You did this incredible new thing that we've never seen before. You used your your oh. inner power and you became ultimate. Hold it, please. Oh. Here are the list of my. You just carry around the list of your attacks on the card like that? No. Oh. I hid it in my back. Ah, okay. And then okay. I magically hold them out like in cartoons or something. I feel like strategically that's, that's not a good plan. That uh, if your enemies capture that, they would know exactly how to take you guys down. So you must never give it to your enemies. In fact, if they knew your attacks, you could be in trouble. And, yes, ho, ho, ho. and sometimes if I want to show mines, then it just disappears behind my oh, back. Guys, I don't, no, I don't think you never show that to, to your enemies. Because if they see it, they'll be able to copy your attacks and fight like you do and be just oh. as strong as you. Oh, 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 oh. You are not my enemies. Or you took me to a trap so I can get my captured at your party. Sparks? He means if we show it to our enemies what you done him, then maybe our enemies can copy attack and we do and maybe we could get defeated. <laughs> okay, time for Shobo. If one of you guys is are the real good guys or the real bad guys. Wait, hold, wait, hold, hold on. No, these guys, they're my friends. I, I vouch for them. They, they, they're they not bad guys. They, <laughs> are you smiling and saying that you're trying to trick me? No, oh wait, oh wait, I see what's happening here. You have a incredible sense of justice that you just think you're, you, no one can defeat you. Yes. So if your friends have one of masks, masks, I'm gonna rip those masks wow. off and I'll see who the real you if you said From, from what I'm fights. seeing, oh go ahead Optimus, what, what do you guys say? Spokes, they're all good guys. They're our friends. We traveled here to Angel Grove to rescue them. Are you here? Are we trying to heal to kill them? No, we're trying to heal to rescue them from any danger. Um, Optimus Prime, have you ever watched a cartoon where somebody's pretending to be a good guy and then somebody rip it off their face and they pretend that they were real phony like ripping off someone's hair? Fake hair? I of. never watched that before. Optimus Prime, are you the good guys? I am a good guy. We came out with a team. 
and we defeat Green Goblin, we defeat most villains, and now we did, and we also, and we rescued our dog, and the dog was with Albo, like, Excuse me, excuse one. me, excuse me. No. Well, this, this, this. Dragonborns don't make fool because they do not want to make fake heroes and fake enemies. Wow, I feel like uh, well, there's there's a weird discrepancy in your in your says, teamwork. Spokes has a little thing that is all right. That's fine. Like a word that she's knowing that people are actually pretending that they're bad guys. Yeah, Dragonborns we, we act like it, this. We call it suspicious. You you seem to be very suspicious of of all of my friends, and quite frankly. It is coming off rude. So, and then he puts his arms up. And you start, you start feeling like this power being sucked out of you. And he snatches up. And he has in his hands your ability to morph. And he says... Until you guys understand what it truly means to be heroes in this land, to be Power Rangers, to have the title, I, I can't just give you this this power to, to defeat all evil. Now, Optimus Prime, I understand that you have a good sense of justice and you're, you're, you do very well for, for fighting, but your teamwork with, with Sparks seems to be yeah, just a lot of headaches and a lot of you guys are arguing and in sparks you 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 can't just assume people are bad guys all the time. You just you can't come. But off. he's but when I show him my attack, he said enemies. I want to make sure no one's an enemy to no, me. No, no, you misunderstood what I was saying. I said if you show the enemies your your list of your awesome moves, there are no enemies here, Mister Fool. There is no enemies. See? No enemies <laughs> behind you. Did you just insult me, the greatest Power Ranger ninja ever? How dare you? And his voice starts to get loud, and he starts to grow a little bit. You know nothing of the might <laughs> of ninja. Um, if that's the Spoke? case, it is time for you to go on your own quest to see if you are truly worthy of being you made up heroes. Up. Yeah! Ah! And he sends out this thing called Genjutsu Bomb and it goes towards you guys and next thing you know you guys are in a portal. Ninja! Snowball! No! Um, um. Folks, you made them mad. And you guys land in a cave. Folks, what was that for? You were the one that made us in the seal. And what? Quit it, Optimus Prime. Hey, what in a metal? Oh, a metal. Wait. So you guys are in this cave. You are now in something something called the Cave of Doom! No, it's, it's not called that. It's called the Cave of Soul Tear. And it's a... Actually, uh, let's do our first roll. So you go. Let's roll to see if hey, one... Hey, Mendor! If I can hear you... <laughs> he's, not, but... he's not in there. Let's roll to see if you guys know where you're at based off of your knowledge and wisdom and how smart you are. Can I try first? Yeah, sure, Kaden. Uh, <laughs> uh, so Kaden rolled a 14 and the number you needed was, what was it? 14. 14. Oh, yeah. So Kaden, or I'm sorry, Optimus Prime takes a look around and you're like, Place. This place. And 
This place is the Cave of Solterre. You know this place to be the place where heroes go to train to see if they're worthy to be rangers, to be heroes, and wield the power. And hold on, am I? No, you don't have to because he's, he's telling you all of this. He can give you that. And you basically say if you're not careful, your hero soul can be trapped here Wait forever. Hey, Nadar, come out and play. I have a special attack for you. No, Instead don't. of using my magic powers, I can just kick and punch your guts. Um, now come on and uh, put your phony face up so I can punch you in the belly. I Show can't. yourself! Sparks? Actually, that was called the snowball. You made him really mad, so he sent us to this portal. And there might be booby traps around us. There are no booby traps. I don't actually hit your brother in real life. There were no booby traps. All it's just there is, is water, plants, rocks, and anything else. Like there are no well, booby traps. Kate and Amaya, guess what? what? Roll again to see if there are booby traps. Oh, yeah. You need a 14. Okay. What you got? 18. Whoa. 18. Seven. So just as Sparks is saying, there are no booby traps. You look at a wall and you notice a big circle. Ha, I guess there is a booby trap. You guys are surrounded by big circles. Then there just can't be a trick to be a villain like Venom and the soup, the amazing Spider-Man little blah blah thing. So, so you guys going to try to walk? Okay. Yeah, I can go for the first try. Yeah, okay. No, I can take it. No, I, I can, can try. It. I, I can, can take it. So you guys rock, are, paper, scissors. Guys are, okay, go rock, paper, scissors. How does this work? Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. 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 Uh, okay, okay, we'll let we'll let it chew on. So Sparks wins the hold on my Sparks wins the rock, paper, scissors, shoot game, and now you have to roll to see if you can avoid the trap. You need a fourteen. Oh, oh yeah, I threw it in spoke scope. Is that a six? Yes. So it's a point. <laughs> Let me see. Uh, I don't need it. Oof, a 3d6. Oh, this is terrifying. Judges you take it. your first step. Hold on, let me get my pen out since you did not avoid this trap. You take your first step and you step on a stone and the stone presses down and you hear a click. And you take 10 damage. <gasps> hey, what was that for? Ninja, you let us free, or else when I see you, I'll hit you in the face. That was the first trap. Who's walking next? Uh, uh, <laughs> not me. Okay, little man, let's go for your 20. Sparks is really about to try. You need a 14. Okay, just don't do it okay. Three. I knew it if I wanted to spin on me. Ooh, a six. I got a six, you got. <gasps> so then. Wait, let me count what six plus six equals. What? No, there's no six plus six. It's just, he just got a six. You both got a six. Then six plus six equals. Well, you guys are doing it together. So you got hit by the spears, and Caden, I'm sorry, Optimus Prime, as you step, you step on another stone. <clears throat> but as you step, you see a net come up, Yay! and you got caught in the net, and you're swinging left and right. And then as you look up, the net untwines from the ceiling and falls down. Hold on, let me see, let me see. Oh, it's only two pieces. Could you like that? What's that? Five plus six equals 11. For 11 Damn. damage. Bring you to this. You fall down, <laughs> and you are also hurt. What did I say? Hey, Optimus Prime!
prime. Maybe what did I say about being focused? He's not I all the way down. Focused. <laughs> I am focused, but there's booby traps everywhere. Mm -hmm. What do you mean no smart enough? There was supposed to be no booby traps. You were supposed to act kind to Snowball or she won't send us here. But now we are the real go. heroes. I know, but if you got really mad and you thought to put a fight Dragon with Snowball. Dragon don't wait. do that. Wait. So if you had a fight with Snowball, then Snowball got angry and he sent us to this mysterious cave. Well, that was wait. Ninja's fault. Wait, no. It was Ninja. Was no. a ninja. Wait. It, was, it was Ninja. Ninja sent you. Wait. Ninja sent us because you were spinning too hard on on Snowball. Well, if, you're, if Ninja would have been a ninja, then why will he him. trap us in <laughs> here? <laughs> no, never mind. <laughs> wait. That was simple. Ninja Maybe, is wait. a hero. Maybe if but Ninja... Ninja dropped us here. Maybe he wanted us to train and know how to avoid booby traps. Maybe that's why he sent us here. Get, get, did you get off of him? <laughs> so you, you grab his face and you say, look at me in the eyes. Don't do it for real. I know this is terrifying. It's not my fault here. I know. It was like a shrink. I notice cave. Wait, a I thing cave. that does not call it a thing. But if we keep stepping around the booby traps, then a bad guy might underground appear or top secret. There appear. are no bad guys. Only booby traps. Oh yeah, that's true. That's true. That's actually true. You know why? Bad guys don't belong in this. <gasps> <laughs> mm, well, I, I have a plan. When Ninja comes here, we will set the booby traps on him. What? He the booby traps on us. No, no, no. We can't do that. Ninja is our master. Well, I quit, being, I quit being his master. And I quit being his and I quit him being a trainer. I'm gonna now do something. it is an opportunity and I'm no longer comfortable being in I'm gonna trouble. try something. Ninja, if you hear me, then speak back. Ninja is just- You scream into the air and no one responds. I told you Ninja is not a great master. He is I will try again to see if I can avoid a booby trap. Ooh, okay. Here comes a third time avoiding a booby trap. Here you go. So as you walk, you see that there might be some unsteady ground, so you jump across it to make it to the other side. And that's what I call prime improvement. <laughs> I finally landed. See? So, see? You just have to go through rock to rock based on plan. I was smart enough to decided to based get my on ACB. Great. And in the distance, you see. Uh, let me see what you see. Hmm. If I can do something, maybe... You see a shining orb just off in the distance. Oh, I know that is. Is that a shield from Joe Havoc? Because we didn't destroy it yet. I don't know what it is. Do you want to roll and see if you recognize it? I'll yeah. roll it. No, I will roll. I will roll. Okay, I go Rock, paper, scissors. You, 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 both, you both can roll. Okay. My, yours is over there. Where's mine? Did you put it back? Oh, you got a nine. You got a nine. Why is these bug bites is not making eighteen? These so bug bites you, are you so unlucky. squint your eyes and you look very carefully at at what's shiny over there, and you see the golden power coin, and it's got all of your favorite rangers within it. And that's the power 
we need to get to understand what it means to be a true Power Ranger. How about wait, sparks? Wait, wait, Spokes, Spokes says you want to do If we just get that, we can free ourselves from this destructive cave. So why can't we just grab it instead? I'm going to see if I can jump really high. Hey, Snowball, please come out. I'm very sorry. And you, Mr. Annoying Bat Little Ninja Ninja, can you just give our powers back? That won't work. That would just make it even worse. And you know why? You said it won't make my idea. Okay, I'm going to see if I can jump high enough. Sure. That was it. So as you jump, your metallic heavy body lands on back down on the ground because you do not make it up there. And never here. And no, you land in the same spot. That's this spot again. In the shape, no, uh, you were here. And the weight of your land starts to shake the ground. <laughs> and oh. the, the ground from underneath sparks starts to crumble in. Sparks, roll to see if you can jump out of the way in time. Oh, well, this I'm going to sarcasm you. Congratulations, Optimus Prime. I got an 18. Wow. <laughs> so, the ground starts to crack, and Wait, you make it in time to jump over. You front flip, you land Oops. right next to Optimus Prime. Why? You are trying to destroy me! And you I guys, wasn't trying to destroy you! You guys were just good enough to miss the third booby trap. Maybe the third one will be like an underground drill when it eats us up! No, it was a cave in. It was, it was a cave in. So you are, you're walking around, you're going around the corner. I'm gonna go as far You're trying to come back over here. And as you come back, you Me, see man. this guy comes out of the wall. What? Oh, I knew! Is that the version of you? Go give him a high five! And then you see this goo on the ground right here, and the goo <laughs> grows. <laughs> It's in front of me. Nope. I need to go high five her. Only well, you will stay up and see. All right. And you um. are. Now it's time to roll. Wait, I want to high five her. <laughs> for initiative. Hello there. My name is Sparks. A pleasure to meet you. Want a high five? Sparks. The yeah. goo. The goo. Sparks puts her hand up. and starts charging a guiding bolt and oh, shoots sparks? it out of her hand right at you. Sparks? Let's ah. see if she hits. And she misses. Whoa. And you see this slimy goo guiding bolt Oof. hit the wall right between you guys. Um, hey, I don't do that. Wait, I'm your friend. Sparks. I know, I know who these guys are. They, that's a special one. That, these are the other half of our body. These are the ones when we were the villains. These are bothering me. These are the ones when we were the villains. These ones are the ones when we're kind. The oh, villains came. The villains came to show how miserable we were. Ninja, please stop this! It's time to roll for initiative! But we have no choice but to attack! Yes. What number you get? That's six. What's five plus one? There's some gold on the bottom. And green. Okay. You gotta roll, son. Nice. Love it. Five. Five and five. So we're gonna go. Oh, I know that guy. That guy's a little half of my Five. And 
five. We're gonna go one. Two. Wanna see her back? Three. Four. And it is Sparks turn first. You What do you do, Sparks? You are destroying me! I will never let you to show how a real friend is. Am I? They can't see you. You have to go this way. I will do my guiding boat. That's hey, she did. It. She did. You. She did. Ro roll, see if you if you hit. You better wait, Daddy. I think I know this. Twenty. Whoa! Twenty. Double check, make sure that's a, yeah, it's a 20. So you're 20 with your guiding bolt. Oh, oh, 46. Oh, wow. So let's double that up. Ultimate point. <laughs> what a strong attack, Amaya. What a very strong attack. And given we're playing by non-traditional D&D rules, this is a super mega attack. So yeah, you, you charge up your guiding bolt. Um, it, it drew all four of your bolts. They combine to one mega hit. You send it out. My, who are you hitting? You Wait. send it out. Wait a minute. What about if we can fight our own self? So you fight that box and I fight that ultimate. And it hits the goose sparks all the way back. Hey, to the I'm edge. wondering if I can play if you're slime. Hmm. It looks like putty. And that takes it to Optimus Prime's turn. Oh, yeah. I have to roll my 20. What are you, what are you, what attack are you doing? Okay, what attack? I'm on this side or this side? Uh, you're on this side because you can't morph right now. Uh, I should be time to cook cleaned up. But even though I can't do my flame breath, or if I can't do a fire breath, <laughs> but I can still do my flame act. Yeah. Let's see if you'll hit. is not enough because you're going against yourself and yourself is super dupser strong just and like and it you. combined with gold it's combined with silver yeah. gold and green so you you jump in to do your your axe attack and he raises his axe and he blocks it just in time well, actually wait hold on hold on hold on hold on oh so this is 13 plus 7 13 plus 7. 20! You because hit him! <laughs> boom! So as he's coming up to block your axe, you really flex your biceps, and you come down super hard, and you hit him right in his uh, shoulder. You need a D12, which is... Um, so am I up? This one? Oh, wait. There. No. Roll that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wait, those two didn't Let's, switch. Let's switch that one. Switch. For 10 points. Yeah, you hit them for 10 points, Gator. Yeah. I had to add some stuff when we did it. Bam, I almost took him out. You almost took him out. So he, he rears back. Amaya, that's not what we're doing. He rears back. He holds on to his axe and he looks at you. With his stony stone eyeballs, and he's going to try to chop you right in your sides. Oh, not my sides! Right in your sides. And as he's swinging it, you move your axe just in time to block it. Boom. I could want to duck. Okay, as he's swinging it, you duck down, and he just stands at the ready. But he remembers. So he looks at you, and you start hearing the, you start hearing like his teeth <laughs> start to grow because he is now <laughs> raging up, and he gets a little bit bigger. <laughs> okay, 
Okay, he and let he, go of the robot. And he jumped at you to try to slash again. <laughs> Twelve. <gasps> I'll say it's not enough. Yay! Yeah, I'm not gonna add anything. He brings out his slash. How do you want to dodge or block? I think I'm going to dodge. Like, actually, I think I'm <sighs> going to, like, Lay down on the floor, and they will miss me. Yeah, so you, you you do like this backwards roll type of thing on the floor, and he chops right between your legs, which sends it to Goo Sparks. Goo Sparks, <gasps> Goo Sparks looks at Optimus Prime. Oh, oh, who is Actually, you? Goo Sparks looks at uh, Stone Prime, the big rock one. Is it me or the stone one? The stone one. Okay, so he just... And decides to do... Ninja, uh, this is not funny anymore. Decides to do shield. So he, he raises his hand and... And this, like, green light, almost, like, weird goo, clear green color... Gets <gasps> on uh, Rock Optimus Prime. And now... He is a lot harder to hit because Goose Sparks, and knowing whatever move that Sparks knows, is using those moves to support. Oh. But Goose Sparks knows that they also have another attack, so they pull out their javelin <laughs> and <laughs> throws it right at Optimus Prime. <laughs> 20. 20! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> uh, the 6 is 6, plus 6 is 12, and hits you for 12 damage. damage. <laughs> but you're, you're still okay. Um, and my, and my character, could my character go, go in the water? Or yeah, sure. So uh, this javelin hits you right in your shoulders, uh, and as it hits you, you... Boom, Splash! But you land on like a hero pose and you like get back up at the ready because you're ready to rumble, which takes it to hey, watch Sparks it. turn again. All Did right, you, to you. To? you ruined me. And I ruined you. What, what attack are you doing? My javelin. Okay. You pay for this. You pay for this. Open the gate. Who do you hate? That's who you date! <sighs> and you rolled a six. So you throw your javelin, and as this javelin is going towards the goo sparks, goo sparks just looks right at it and <laughs> moves her head to the side like this. <laughs> and just whew, right past it. Oh, come on! What's <laughs> it was Oh! Daddy, you forgot we can attack two times. I didn't forget. You have to remember. Yes, you can attack two times. Go for it. Me? Yeah. I can try again. I can do my dabbling over. Twenty has to work. Open the gate. Who do you date? Who do you hate? That's who you date! Seventeen! Seventeen I hits. knew it I could do better. Yeah, so you pick up your javelin, you send this bad boy <laughs> straight towards Goose Sparks. Um Get you gotta roll a D six. So roll Where's my D six? Um here it is. And we'll, we'll add uh four Open to that. Open the lid, put your finger inside, twist it, put it back out, close the lid. A one. <laughs> I say that you know. Well, we'll, we, it's one plus four. Five. Five. So you send your flame okay. javelin towards this goo sparks for five damage. And it hits. Oh. And it poof, hits right into the shoulder and it burns. It goes. It Get slime. <laughs> I guess. Slime for me. And it takes it to Optimus Prime's turn. Okay, I'm Sparks gonna... is touching the swine. Okay, oh. I guess. Okay, I guess I'm gonna do my right turn. Yeah. That is so, so disgusting. So Optimus Prime rages up, turns into the wolf form of Optimus Prime. Ten. 
to lose my bone. You biting? Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see if you hit. Nineteen. So we, you're attacking a stone, stone prime. Yes, stone. So you, you open your teeth, and good job too, because a nineteen uh, is what you needed to bite into this guy. So where are you biting? On his head. Yeah. So you go for like one of his little antennas to bite his head, and you munch down, and now you gotta roll to see the damage on that. So let's uh, what's this one? Well, not that eight, one. Yeah. Oh, are you sure? Yeah, that's eight. Because uh, it's a D8 plus um, three. Eight. Okay, eight plus three is. Eight plus three. Oh, no. Eight plus three. Oh, eight plus three. Is eleven. Eleven, that's right. So you punch down for eleven points. You bite his antenna off, and it crumbles in tiny little pebbles. <laughs> No, you didn't take him out. Uh, but you I get two attacks, Kaden. Oh, I get two attacks. You get two attacks. So what are you doing now? So did I bite one of his antennas? You took one of his antennas off. Okay, since he has one more, I won't let him speak anymore. Okay. I will do another one. You do another bite? Yep. Yeah, so you turn around, you, you charge back at antenna, the other antenna on uh, Stone Prime. Fourteen. Uh, fourteen plus se fourteen plus seven. Twenty-one. And that's enough. Yeah. So you you go back to bite that other antenna off. Let's roll your damage. Seven plus three. Am I seven plus three? Seven plus three equals ten. So you you bite that other antenna off, crunch, and the stone prime no longer has any antenna. He's just bald. He's a bald head. <laughs> bald, bald head. But it is his turn. So. Is he really upset? Oh, he's and super you? upset. And you know what he takes his flame max because his is now. He rubbed his hands, and the sparks came out of it, and he turned, and he's trying to slam it down right on top of you. Me? Oh, and he misses. But he has a second attack. So Stop. right after he brings it down, a, a big thud is in the ground. He lifts it up to swipe backwards. I might get out of his ear. And you too quick, he st you step back, and he misses. It is now I back know, to know, uh, That's what I call teamwork. Slime, or goo sparks is what I was calling it. Oh, slime. I kept my putt in my pocket the whole time. Yeah. So I to play with it. So goo sparks stands next to Stone Prime, claps her hands together. Impresses her hand on his back and heals him. Which is Next time you that attack to me. <laughs> heals him for 25. So even though Sparks, you did. that's cheating! <laughs> yeah, I made, I made putty. Now I can make a putty monster. And from that healing, the antennas roll back. The pebbles roll up Optimus Prime or Stone Prime's body lots back in place. It is still Goo uh, Sparks' turn. I have hey, two powers. Goo Sparks takes well, what do you got? Goo Sparks takes in a deep breath. Uh oh. Maya, this is not good. Maya, this is not good. And Goo Sparks is going to try to send a fireball at Sparks. Sparks! Hurry up! And misses. As you see, a, a, fly, a fireball similar to your own attack, you recognize exactly how to dodge it, and you step to the side, and it passes you by, and it singes the back of the wall, which takes it back to your turn.
Sparks notices what you're doing and Hurry. doesn't bring in the breath but kind of imitates you, forces you to roll the exact same thing. And when you send out your breath, <laughs> it does the same thing. It steps to the side and it goes past. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the back wall. I have to attack. I can try that again. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna Fire gonna breath. Open the gate. Who do you hit? That's who you date! Am I, uh... What? Don't throw it like that. Now I'm um, gonna get it. <laughs> I don't, you wanna get it or you wanna use a different one? I can use a different one. Alright. You'll get it later. Yeah, I, I, I'll get it later. Make sure you don't throw it. What'd you get? Thirteen. Thirteen. Thirteen plus. Okay, sure. <gasps> well, what, what's, uh, what does it say on top of your d20? Thirteen plus what? Thirteen plus five. Is nineteen. Eighteen. 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 Oh, yeah. Dang but, but you still hit. You hit. Who? Well, who are you trying to hit? Yeah. So you you taking your deep breath. You sitting out this fireball. Boom, and as uh, so first it dodges at the the one that you missed. And as it looks back, it sees another fireball coming straight at it and. Bam! Right in the face. Roll your damage. By D20 again? No, it's a. Uh, you need 2D6. Daddy? So your square one plus this one. Am I up? Open the gate. Who do you take? Who do you hate? That's who you take. Alright, what's your score? 1 plus 6 equals 7. Woo! Am I up? Uh, Am I up? Do I hit? Am I up? Am I up? We're gonna face the own stove. So I'm finding this guy, and you finding this guy. So yeah, you you send your fireball, and it hits Goo Sparks right in the face. Boom! And now Goo Sparks is is feeling the haze, and it gets kind of dizzy. Uh, and it is now Optimus's turn. Time to wipe that guy down. Okay. Time to do it by KO. Alright. Yeah, you're still raged. So you, tra- you turn around and you swing your tail at uh, Stone Prime. This after roll by D20. Mm-hmm. I might have that. And as you roll your, your tail at it, it ducks down. And you miss. But I can try again. You got a second attack. Wait, but since I'm still raged, am I what? Doesn't have to use my scratch. Okay. Well, even when you're raged up, these moves are also strong too. So don't forget about those ones too. But you can use your scratch now. I just want you to know. So first, I'm going to put your hand in, open the lid, put your hand inside, twist it, put it back out, close the lid. Thank you for cleaning my toilet. And I, am I, don't be rude. Okay, sorry. As you go to scratch, it reaches his hand out and stops your hand. He grabs your hand. He's now holding you because that attack did nothing because it's his turn. And he lifts his axe up and he's bringing it straight down on top of your shoulder. And this is. He hits for an 18. And as he's bringing it down, the flames of this thing turns blue. <laughs> and he's hitting <laughs> you, bam, right on your shoulder. Let's see what that damage is. Did I, did I, it's a D12. Then you caught my arm off, and then he did, and I was chopping. <laughs> no, I don't think he chopped your arm off. D, uh, two plus four, that is six damage. And Amaya. But he has another attack. So he brings it back up. He still has your hand, and he goes to slash again onto your, uh, let's say, not my head, not my head. Not your head, but he's he's going for that arm again. 
and as he's bringing it down, you gather the strength to pull your hand away, to take a step back, and he misses. And Goose Sparks claps their hands together again. Not again. Puts their hand out like this, and then brings it to their chest to heal. Why they always heal each other? Come on, try healing. You have healing stuff too. <laughs> Four, seven. I'm tired because Zindra will never respond. We've been calling out five times and he still ignores us. Zindra. Goose Sparks focuses his eyes back on regular Sparks. Breathes in another deep breath. And sends out a fireball as big as two cars. Foof, straight towards Sparks and hits. Not 19. Okay, it was 19. For only five damage. Ninja and it is Sparks' turn. I'm gonna call it out Ninja. Ninja and Sparks are sorry. Could we try that to be real healers? Or do we have to defeat these two I'm first? I'm gonna do my Flame Axe. Yeah. I bet no response from Ninja. This we have to do. 12 plus. 8. No, what's your D20? 12 plus 5 is 2 plus 5 equals 17. 17, so you hit. I do. Yeah. You bring your flame X down, and where are you hitting at? Goose Sparks. You hit Goose Sparks for, you want to roll your damage? Yes. Play with my pudding. Yeah. Um, here you go. Here you go. Well, add four to whatever that lands on. Yeah, I made a putty monster. Two. Plus four is six. So yeah, you you send out your flame axe. You hit Goose Sparks right in the chest for six points. And Goose Sparks is starting to wobble again. Ooh, wobble. I think I'm going to make her wobble. I'm taking a break with stone. When is she gonna come out yet? I'm gonna have another turn, you know. You do have another turn. Who's Let gonna me have to do. Uh, I want to find my Power Ranger toy. I'll do my. <gasps> Super Radiant Strike. Whoa, the Super Radiant Strike is in effect. Uh, what weapon are you doing that on? Your javelin or your flame axe? Oh, yeah, flame axe. Okay. Let's roll to see if you hit. Oh, yeah, I forgot to roll. D20? Yep. Open the gate. Who do you hate? Who do you hate? Who do you hate? What'd you get? Nine. Nine Why plus my five. Nine yeah. Plus... That's not enough. This is what I do when I don't get enough with my unlucky bug bite. Would you have a 20 earlier? I know, but why should okay. I have a 20 again? Oh, okay. we gotta keep trying. So you okay. bring down that flame. Right. Don't you scream in this pillow. And don't you hit your face in this pillow either. Put this behind you, please. Silly. I appreciate your commitment to disappointment. So you bring down your flame axe and it lifts up its it's one of its javelins and it stops it right in place, takes it to Optimus Prime's turn. Okay, that's it. No more show mode. It's time to lose my double axe. Double axe. Great. And you go for your double axe and you're like, yeah, no more showboating. And as you're picking up these axes, you come up short. You misjudge the distance. He doesn't even move. You strike down, and and you completely miss this strike. Can these guys just form away? Because attacking them is hard, and whenever you say that we keep missing, it doesn't give us abilities to roll to 20. 
Just say something positive. Maybe we can roll this one. You like? Okay, I'll say something positive. You're doing great. Okay. Are you done with your turn, or are you going anywhere? Okay. okay. It's time to do my turn. javelin. Yeah. So. Yeah. So you bring those two axes down. <laughs> you miss. You immediately grab your javelin. Guess see who's the boss. Eleven plus seven is eighteen. You hit, so you you use your javelin. You jam your javelin up. What a four! All right, you underhand throw your javelin, and it hits uh, stone prime right in the yeah, right in the body. Javelin, uh, it's a plain javelin, but d six. That's this one. Just see who's the boss of this world. Five plus four and plus two uh, is eleven. That's not eleven. Five plus four is nine. Yeah, plus two is eleven. I'm smart. Five plus four equals nine, so you don't know math, do I ya? No math. <laughs> so, yeah, you hit, you hit him for for eleven points, which takes it to his turn. He takes out the javelin and he throws it right back at you. And he misses. I'm gonna say he's. I'm gonna. I'm gonna make him one. dodge, like he squats down. Okay, yeah, you do a squat down. It goes right over your head. But Stone Prime sees another opportunity, and he looks his head over at Sparks. And he goes with a stone slash, and he misses. You get out of the way quickly, and you jump to the other side, right over his axe, which takes it to Goose Spark's turn. Goose. We had enough, um, Daddy. Yeah. Only if I can turn this a dragon board into that one, I can defeat can this do. one. Nothing. Just play my head. Okay. I wish I can do this in dragon board. I'll try to. Goose Sparks stretches out her arms. <laughs> and you see this green light from her hands mm -hmm. starts to build up. <laughs> she grabs one of the javelins. And you mm -hmm. recognize this Sparks as her super radiant strike. She lifts it up. First, she aims towards Sparks. But then she changes directions towards Optimus Prime. Um, and she somebody... sends the javelin. Bah! And... Bah! She misses. Bah! I'm going to jump over. And as you're jumping, she takes out another javelin in the other hand. She locks on target right on you. And she throws it again. Bah! And she misses. I guess. Which and takes it to Sparks' turn. Now, Daddy, okay. my Op turn Optimus to do Optimus Prime did a cool backflip to get out of the way. Daddy, yeah. next time if when it's my turn, I'm going to see if I can get how to try okay. to strike Dungeons and Dragons on my javelin. I'm going to do my Radiant Strike on my javelins. Okay. I said it quietly since Kayla can't interrupt He didn't interrupt, he was just telling me his next plan. No. It might work. Oh yeah. 11 plus 5. 11 plus 5? Mm hmm. 16. And that's enough to. Who are you aiming at? This. Yep, it's enough to hit her. So, you said your radiant strike? Oh boy, your rating strikes 2d8, so you need these two. And you said you're using your javelin, right? So these two and your six. Thanks. You're welcome. I wish I can dress into my uniform so I can do my you, giant. Do I wanted the seven. One, One plus seven equals eight. Okay, yeah. That's way. <laughs> How do you take out with your javelin, your super radiant strike javelin? How do you take out Goose Sparks? By aiming at her, throwing it right out of her way. 
Yeah. So well, you, maybe her face. <laughs> you send this super searing pink colored, uh, your magic pink or is it red? Pink and red. All right, you send this super searing pink and red flame javelin and it boom, takes the goo head right off and this thing melts back to the floor and we have finally taken out goo sparks. That, 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 that goo sure can heal him but he is made out of stone. And to see how you guys take out stone prime no, it's my turn to fight, and I wanted to fight I know, him. I know. Oh, all right, we'll, we'll do your turn. You want to roll to see if you can, uh... Dungeons and Dragons roll. Okay, let's see if you can do it. There's some hair on my bug bite, see? I know. <laughs> you, so Optimus Prime uh, tries to dig down deep to go ultimate in your Dungeon Dragon to evolve. <laughs> But then you realize when Ninjor took away your power to morph, he also accidentally took away your power <gasps> to go ultimate. Ninjor, what was that for? I told you Ninja is the worst ninja. And to see what happens next, oh, you no. guys will have to come back for the next exciting episode. K and D, Rangers and Dragon, where Sparks and Optimus Prime faces off against Stone Prime. I hate when you say that because it's when it's over. Yep, it's when it's over. And no, get off me. We gotta say goodbyes. Uh, thank you everybody for coming to check in. Uh, Kids and Dragon, Rangers and Dragon, Episode Three. This is a two-parter because in part two of this particular episode, being episode four, part two to this trial, um, we, we will see what happens in the conclusion. We will see if the heroes are able to get their morphing powers back. Is there anything you guys want to say? Yeah. What do you want to say? The one thing I want to say is find out on the next Dungeons and Dragons, Kids and Dragons Rangers. It's to see if Sparks and Optimus can defeat Stone Optimus. Find out on the next, on the next Dungeons and Dragon, Kids and Dragon Rangers. Adamaya, what do you want to say? Thanks for subscribing. There's still more to subscribe you must do. I am believing you, you can subscribe. If you're doing nothing. You may have any home, being homesick, having a bug bite that's not able to go to school. That's good. Mommy said that you can watch something. They're all good or sometimes they're all bad. Guess what? You can join us. You can play Dungeons and Dragons or you can watch us play. And you'll see how they all end. Because okay. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. See you soon, everyone.